Hello and welcome, this is Doki Doki Literature Club Plus and we're doing the Nasuski route. I know Yuri route was quite quick actually, so let's see if this is just as quick. Right, we're going to, as you know, if you don't know already, we're going to be skipping all the ones we've already seen and I'll just be dialoguing the ones we haven't seen. So we'll be focusing purely on Nasuski. Right, so here we go. Got another Sayori here as she leads us over to the literature club where we meet Nasuski, Yuri and Monica. Ah, just straight for the poem. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> we have to start with, the, start with the history, but here we go. Can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuski is rummaging around the closet. Ugh, I hear Nasuski utter an exasperated sigh within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs hand. You looking for something in there? Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organised if someone else is just going to mess it up? Nasuski slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things you can't admit you're really into uh, in, into it until you figure out what the other person stands. Oh yeah, I did this in the main, main story. So, yeah, um, a little note for there, for that. How do you know anyway? I heard you bring it up some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga and missed a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I put it on. I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Nasuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of manga and slips it into the volume right in the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get closer to the box set. She, she's, I get clo I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Our fake girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you could do it through the glass on that door. She points to the, to the classroom door. Hey, I was ju wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I tell you one thing, Zinzaris. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't ju judge a book by its cover. In fact, Nasuski pulls out the first volume in Path 8 Girls in front of the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the books right into my hands. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colourful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mole. Over there. Don't just stand there. Ah! Nasuski grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet, then just takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats it on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Eh, yeah, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easy to be close together like this. Don't no, just say that. It'll make me feel weird about it. My Suzuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't ex exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's partially a bad thing. Particularly about it. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Nasuski once again inches clover closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin in reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've read the beginning? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Yeah. I am, but there's nothing really happened yet, so I can't so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's but a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things, like there's really a funny chapter where there are that's the with a guy at the right ice cream shop. That just helps you get to know the characters. Besides, it's still entertaining. Later on, there's all kinds of drama, like when they get into their backstories and some of the romance starts to happen. That's what make that's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? 
Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Ugh. Nasusi gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm, good save. Ah, uh, this chapter seems like it's about bacon. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of bacon in this manga? Well, Nasusuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit to something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Says you enjoy bacon too, right? That's that's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into bacon at around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Haha. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains how Susie's interest in bacon. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from manga, it's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? We read on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with it. Fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun, to, fun sharing some of you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up the series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, but that's not. Oh, well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Did you not rub it in? Ah, sorry. You ain't got any friends, have you? Hmm. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of it yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time. It's probably harder for someone like you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. That kept set Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, I am here reading it. Well, it's not like that it shows, it solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? No, aha, Jesus, enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page, suddenly, Nasuski starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Nasuski puts a finger on one of the panels. Minori is, is my favourite character. We always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Siski's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast from her usual bossy tone. But she's not used to sharing her favourite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express the words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Nessie's much of rare experience. What well, makes me smile a little to myself. Okay everyone, yeah? Are you ready for today's poems? Oh come on. Okay, let's skip to the poems. Alright, let's start with no sorry. Is there any difference? Nope. Okay. Okay. Alright, Siski, we're gonna be able to skip this because I've in the main story I actually did this before. So we're just gonna read for it. Okay, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Nesuski reread my poems. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion, eh? Then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, I, uh, how I, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, yeah. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show how real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. She just complimented me. Don't have words for you saying you liked it. Nasiski's retort gets caught in a throat. You're so... Just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announce it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Nasuski must have really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss or that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, Jesus can run. 
Eels can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I told you. Th told you they weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Let's be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks I'm right. That Brighton has to be all sophisticated and stuff. The so people don't even tr take Brighton. <laughs> so people don't even take my Brighton seriously. But isn't the point of poems for poems to express themselves? The Brighton style wouldn't make you, your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at the end, but it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Good. Guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yep. Yep, guess not. I decided to humour her with one last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nesuski is free and proud, I won't take that away from her. Phew! Guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. There's a more stressful than anticipated. Is this everyone's judging from the media, our mediocre writing abilities? Alright, let's go skip to the next part. Yep, little argument. Help me, Sayori. Go. Actually, I should have gone with, um, actually, I wonder if there's an actual difference if I, um, if I load that again, I've already skipped, I'll just skip to it, and then just go, to, um, slide with, uh, Nasuski. Right, I'm gonna side with Nasuski. Is there any difference? Oh, Yuri, you're really talented. Ah, uh, well. But Nasuski has a point. I think that, okay, we're all just in this. I wrote my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying my feelings with a few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over, and Nasuski's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Ah, it shows how much you know, but that's not. Nasuski, I think that's enough, huh? Me? She's so mean to me. Let's see if your voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is really a personal thing, and sharing it can be definitely hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism could lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Dior is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Nasuski. Ah, Nasuski's voice gets caught in the Surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that. Barely audible. Yuri. Yuri looks at me dejectedly. No face that I can help but feel bad for as well. I'm not sure Nasuki Suzuki. Nasuki didn't mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, say so. Hey, not like you need to apologize for me, Zazaris. Sheesh. Takes a breath. I think about. Um, let's glance around the room. And everybody stopped staring at me. So unsurprisingly, she has a hard time with it than she boasted. Daria and Monica look away. Anyway, the thing about your boots, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Why are you holding an eye call to it everyone? Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sorry? Oh, I'll go make some tea, yeah? I was trying to help. I'm sure she created it, sorry. I pat Sarah on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone should read each other's poems, right? I hope it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, since Iris. And to be honest, nice change of pace from the ladies in the book. A round we got to a little too used to. Ha. Ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all. There's still time before we go in, so we'll relax for a bit. Of course, as I chat and we do literature related things in the club. Maybe we can take a chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Ah, of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, sorry. <laughs> in the end, again, in the end, though, Monica is right. Being in the digital club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. In the end, I guess it's worth it so far. Alright, here we go. Skip to the next part. Right, that's it. <laughs> <sighs> these, these routes are pretty quick considering. We're just going through the ones we haven't seen yet, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.